Hey there, everyone. It's Raider. We are here with another video in comic books. And this has got to be the dumbest idea I've ever seen. Um, we've had... 2020 has been a horrible year. And I'm going to try and make this video short and sweet. We, we've had a horrible year with murder hornets... Biblical plague, it's its just the year of biblical plagues right now. We've got got—we've gone through, what, seven of them already? We've had mass riots. Um, not saying that it's a plague, but it's like a disaster in its own right. We've had COVID-19, murder hornets, blue dragon slugs have come up on the beaches of Texas. I mean, we're, we're four, we've got three more plagues we've got to go through this year, which I think one of them is going to be a resurgence of COVID. So, I mean, we've got two more that we don't know what they are. Comic shops have been hammered by this. What does the comic industry do in this particular moment? Do they side with Americans? Do they go with unity? No, we go diversity because being div dis divisive, with everyone is a great idea. I mean, you know, let's divide everybody up into two groups so we get and then just pick the bare minimum of what we can get out of the comic industry. And that's how we're going to survive. And I'm, I'm holding my phone. That's why it's twisting back and forth all of a sudden. I mean, you, you've got these morons. That, and, and who do they pick? They don't pick the people that are going to do this. They pick, okay, you're an American comic book company, Okay who is basing most of your business is based on capitalist models. Okay? Who do you who do you pick to, to try and get comic books to? But the most anti-American, anti-capitalist, poor as dirt motherfuckers on the planet. You go to Antifa. Antifa. A bunch of domestic terrorists need comic books more than regular Americans. It is it is giving health care to illegal immigrants before your own citizens all over again. These people have no idea, no, no sense of reality, and they just don't human very well. All right? You're in this position because you've been anti-American. You Marvel, you've been in this position because you've been anti-capitalist. You've been in this position because you've been racist towards a vast majority of your audience. You've tried to get different people to join your company and be regular subscribers to your stuff, okay? And that's what you do with a comic book. You basically are subscribing. You're paying a subscription every single month usually to get it, or weekly, depending on how often the book is usually put out. Back when I was younger, they were put out almost monthly. I always got my comics monthly. But you go out there and you go to the one group of people who hate money, who hate a business like yours. They hate capitalism, period. They want to turn, they want to go out there and violently, they want a violent revolution of blood and death in the streets so they can somehow create a utopia from rivers of fucking blood. And you want to join, this is who you want to sell comic books to? You know, there's a reason Ethan Van Skyver is at $900,000. There's a reason Tug is banking almost twice as much money on his second book as he's done his first book. There's a reason Myers is still managing to maintain a company. It's because they are being Americans. They're being fun. Nobody likes this shit. I don't like this shit. Any comic artist that ha that puts this up, you're not getting my money. Period. And I'll do everything that I can to make sure no one ever buys your stuff. So they understand who you are, what bullshit you support. Communism has always been a party of racism, demagoguery, and classism. Every time it's implemented, one person gets up top and then they start purifying their entire nation afterward. Russia did it. China did it. Mussolini kind of did it with this fascism. And by the way, for someone to sit there and say, you, you're, you're talking about the people that you want to get here. They are a walking oxymoron because you've got a group of people that are anti-fascists that don't want to negotiate. An anti-fascist, someone who's not fascist, does not commit to violence unless they're being attacked. Antifa commits to violence before a verbal altercation. They don't even negotiate with people. They're not there to, they're not coming in there to, you know, 
peacefully make a change. They're coming in there and anyone, black, gay, straight, white, Asian, bi, pan, whatever you want to put out there, if those people disagree, doesn't matter what they are. They'll line them against the wall and shoot them. But that's who you want to join up with. Fuck you, Marvel. Fuck you with the rake sideways. In fact, this symbol needs to be changed. It needs to have a small... No, not a small. It needs to have a big, black, throbbing cock running right up into the butt che- into these two butt cheeks you got going on here because that's what Marvel has done. You've bent your ass over so that you can take it up the butt. Why? Because you're too chicken shit and too stupid to understand where the fandom is. You don't have your finger on the pulse anymore. You're off over with your thumb up your own ass like, I think, I think... I feel a pulse up in this hole. I don't know where it is. I'm hitting something. It gives me the feels. In reality, you're not touching it. You haven't touched anyone else. You're not near the fan. You're nowhere near the fan. You're walking off a dadgum cliff. And the fans are over like, Marvel, we, we have money. Do you want it? No, we don't want your money. My God. Fuck you, Marvel. Anyway, folks, be sure to leave a like a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new to it. It helps me out. I'm trying to grow something here. Uh, And (laughs) I'll try to have a more joyous video this afternoon. Um, Anyway, be sure to tell it. Be sure to tell me in the comments just how stupid these people are. And as always, stay safe. Stay frosty. There's a lot of dangerous people out there. And I'm not talking about the protesters, okay? If you're out there protesting Mr. Floyd, good on you. But... Get together, group up if you're protesting, group up and keep it peaceful, all right? That's what we need right now, peace and unity. We need unity, and that's where you're going to get strength. It's like a chain, folks. The chain may be different strengths, but together, if you wrap it enough times around something, it'll hold anything. I am the last Raider, ladies and gentlemen. See you on the next video.